Hi, I wanted to take a minute to talk to other people out there who have um, some kind of chronic illness or chronic pain condition. I personally, I have a few chronic pain or chronic illness conditions, and I'm not going to go into everything I have, um, but let's just suffice it to say that I have a lot of autoimmune issues, um, I have a lot of inflammatory issues, I have a lot of like chronic stomach problems and fibromyalgia and you know the list goes on and on but that's not really what this is about but I wanted to talk about how hard it is when you have a chronic pain condition to take care of yourself and stay in shape and watch your weight and I was hoping that maybe other people who have chronic pain conditions or chronic illness would be able to relate to this and um, just understand where I'm coming from. And the fact is, I I am a person, I've always been really active when I was a kid. I loved sports. I loved gymnastics. I did lots of things like that. And before I developed some of these chronic illness and chronic pain issues, I used to hike for hours with my husband. Um, we used to go skating all the time. Um, we just, we were both pretty active. We played tennis a lot. And it's been really tough since I developed these conditions because um, one thing is that if I do exercise, then I really pay for it for the next day or two or maybe even week. Um, and then I can't do it again, you know, for a long time. I mean, about the only exercise I can do is like some light walking um, or stretching. And even that, I have to be careful not to overdo it. And so that problem combined with the fact that, you know, when you're depressed and ill and sick and everything, you know, you want comfort food, which is hard not to turn to, you know, food for comfort when you're feeling really down. And then on top of that, you have steroid therapy, which a lot of us who have chronic illness or chronic pain, we take a lot of steroids and everybody knows they really increase your appetite and they can also put on weight really quickly. Um, and so the combination of all these things makes it really hard to stay in shape. And I'm not one of those girls who like, I have to have the perfect body and I have to be like, you know, 110 pounds and I'm not like that. But I want to be fit. I want to be in shape. And it's hard when you get sick like this. And, you know, I'm I'm sick a lot. Like, there have been times, like, for eight months stretches at a time, I've been on antibiotics at least once a month for some kind of illness or infection or something. And on top of that, I've had multiple ER visits, um, lots of urgent care visits for different infections and illnesses and conditions and it's just it's very it really makes you feel sometimes very discouraged like you have no control over um, your own health and taking care of your body and for me I'm 32 so I mean I still feel and kind of look young um, at times but other times I just feel like so old and like like I should be 80 or something because I just have no energy and you know if I do one thing that you know is something that affects one of my conditions then I can just you know throw everything out of whack and I'm you know in bed or barely able to move for a few days or even a week and it's just it's very disturbing and I, I am thankful that at least the fact that I have high functioning autism, which makes me very sensitive to different textures and tastes and foods, like there's a lot of foods I won't eat. And also I'm lactose intolerant, so lately I've had to give up ice cream, which is probably good for, you know, my health and my waistline, although I am really struggling with not eating ice cream because I have such a sweet tooth. But I am lucky in those ways that that helps me, you know, not gain too much weight. I've known some people who, like, you know, they get hit with a chronic illness and within six months to a year, you know, they put on 100 pounds. I mean, it can really affect you badly like that. 
And the sad thing is, is, you know, you always have this feeling like people are looking like, you know, did you put on weight or like, you know, everybody has this idea that, you know, chronic illness suffers or just lazy and whiny anyway. So, you know, when you start, you know, putting on weight or not taking as good a care of yourself, you know, it gives them even more stuff to criticize you about. So it's just sometimes I get really discouraged about the whole thing. And I figured I'd make this video for others who may feel the same kind of things and just let them know that they're not alone, that lots of us feel this, that go through this kind of thing. I, I'm a part of a uh, support group online for fibromyalgia and other chronic pain and illness conditions, and a lot of us struggle with this. And a lot of people don't realize that, you know, there are so many people having issues with this and you know as a woman or even a man you know you want to look your best you want to feel your best you you know you don't want to just go to pot I mean you don't want to just like you know start looking like hell although you know you also I'm like I said I'm not all about like you know you have to look a certain way but you know you should want to feel your best and it really makes it hard sometimes when you have these conditions that punish you almost for trying to do something good for yourself. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. And um, if you uh, if you also feel kind of the same way and you've been through similar things, go ahead and feel free to comment below or like this video so I'll know that you know there are others out there that are dealing with this too. So um, I'll see you soon and uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.